Hi, in this session we'll discuss how do we embed an OAF region in the notification. So like uh, so far we just discussed like a simple for your information workflow for your action workflow. Now we'll see how do we embed an OAF region in the notification. So here like uh, as we know that like uh, what is a notification and what is a notification contain. Now we'll see where exactly we have to mention the OAF region information in the workflow. Before discussing technically how to implement this one, let us see the working example and we'll understand how do we use, I mean, how can we embed that, okay? So I'll just call this particular logic. I invoke the, PL, I invoke the workflow using the PLZ equal logic here. Just refresh the page here from the operation user and we could see the notification XXOAF region message is my subject and XXLTWF samples 2017 is my workflow type. Click on this particular subject. Now, in this particular message, if you observe, we could see that there are two OAF region which are mentioned in this one. One is OAF region information and followed by an OAF region. Another one is OAF HRMS region followed by the HRMS region. So in this one, let the major important part in implementing this particular functionality is how do we mention the OAF region path inside the notification. So as we know that a notification, if you if you consider this particular process here, what do we require is we have an item, we have in a process, we have a process will have a start activity and then notification and then end. So in this particular notification, what exactly we have is in this notification, I have a message. In this message, I mentioned the, I mentioned the region, OAF region information, okay, based on based on attributes or maybe I either we can hard code it or based on attributes also we can mention. So let us see the message. Let us totally see the process also here. Now this is a process XX embed OAF process. In this one the major important thing is this notification. This XX OAF notification is having a link to XX OAF region message. Now let us see what is there in this OAXX OAF region message. Here if you observe just double click on this message. Now click on body. Click on HTML body. So now here in this one, if you observe, I have this particular text OAF region information followed by an attribute name called XX OAF region. And another one is a OAF HRMS region followed by ampersand XX HRMS OAF region. Now in this one, let us note this information and now see what exactly I mentioned for these particular attributes. The first one is ampersand XX OAF region. I think what this is my attribute name. In this XX OAF region, I mentioned this under this particular message. Open this one, double click on this one, and if you see here, the doc, the type, the attribute type of this one is document, and also the content of this particular value. So I hard coded the region information, and also you can dynamically uh, update this value also. In this one, if you observe, my OAF region information is mentioned like this: JSP colon OAHTML slash OA dot JSP question mark OA function is equal to this one. Now we can also observe what is this, what like I uh, see here. The OAF region should be registered as a function and then we have to mention OAF function is equal to the AOL function name. Okay, this is nothing but our AOL function name. We can also find out the AOL function name from the instance. I'll just click on home. It's not showing the response. Yeah, sorry. Click on application developer. I'll just click on application now. Click on function. Press F11. Now mention the function name. Now observe here, click on the web HTML. Now it shows this region information. Copy this URL, okay? So this is the content of this OAF region. We can also observe the content of this OAF region. Directly we can also invoke a region, okay? If you are familiar with the OAF, you can easily understand what this particular path is all about. So now what I can do is, let us say before embedding in the notification, let us say if you want to validate this particular region is available in the instance or not, what we can do is, I'll make a note of this particular path, okay? Now open the browser, open the ERP instance, open our EBS instance, okay? Try to log in here. Any user, it should not. Be, it's not. It's not that we have to use system admin only. We can use any user, okay? And then what you do is, yeah, let it open. Yeah. 
Now, here, after OHTML, we could see the address bar as OA.JSP, right? So, I'll just remove this one and mention our path. OA.JSP region is equal to this particular region path. Now, we could see our OF region. So, why? what I'm telling is, this is this is a region which is getting shown in our notification, okay? This is a region information which is getting shown in our notification. Now, we can, same way, we can try for another particular attribute also. So, the value of another one is this one. XXHRM is OF region. Take Make a note of this one. And here, yeah, this is the one. Now, in this one here, just call like this, OA.JSP, question mark, this one. And here, in this one, we are also passing a parameter from the workflow to the OF. We are passing a parameter from the workflow to the OF. Right? So, this is the notification, this is the OAF region which is having the HRMS employee information. Okay. This is another region which is which we are displaying in our notification. And also, if you observe, this particular region is not having any of the what you say the UI features like styles, blue color kind of thing. So, it's like one of the default generally in the OAF, we will not be calling the regions directly. We always embed these regions inside the OAF pages. Okay. Now, let's get back to our notification. Now, click on this one. And here, if you observe, we are passing the person ID 25. That's the reason we are this is getting displayed with this particular information. Okay. And here, now here, another thing, another important part is like, a, if at all, if you get any requirement to display an OAF region, the first thing is the region should be available in the ERP instance. I mean to say the user, the developer has to deploy the OAF region into the instance and also it has to be registered as an AOL function. And then we have to follow this particular logic. Mention the parameter like uh, JSP colon OHTML OA.JSP OA function is equal to AOL function name and followed by if at all if you want to pass parameters you can just mention name value pairs ampersand ampersand parameter name and then value. This is how we can also pass a parameter from the from the workflow to the OAF. Okay. Now another important part here if you observe in the same sample here there is a concept called related applications. So now here, maybe if you have seen any of the PO approval standard notifications, you have an option where you can edit the, edit, what I mean to say, like you can call, you can call a standard OF page from within the notification also, right? So this is achieved using a concept called related application. And here, if you observe on this particular message, see one more thing is like for any developer, if at all, if you, if at all, if you want to find how this particular notification is always notification displayed. On the notification on its own doesn't have any business logic at all. Everything is, is a part of a message. We always need to identify which message is attached to the notification and find out the message. On the message, you'll find all the business logic which is implemented on that. So now in our case, so here not related apps, click on the related apps here. Now it, this particular related apps, what I've done what I've done is I've assigned a value called XSLT related apps URL. This XXLT related apps URL is pointing to one of our OAF page. This is the one invoke OAF page. This is the one. In this one, I just mentioned my page path. So this is another way of calling an OAF OAF component. This is an OAF page, okay? That's the difference between OAF page and a region. Generally, an OAF page will have a set of regions, okay? A region will have a set of items. So if you are from the Oracle Forms background, generally you'll have a module. You'll have a window, you'll have a canvas, you'll have a block, and you'll have an item. So in the OAF page, you'll have a page, will have a region, and region will have a set of items. This is how it will be. Okay. Yeah. Now let's discuss another sample in the workflow. Like uh, how do we attach a document to the notification? So let me show you the sample, then we can discuss what is the coding we have used for this one. I'll call this particular program invoke attachment workflow procedure. Now go to the browser, refresh this one, refresh the browser. Now click on the notification. Now here we could observe that this notification is having a reference called PO document. And you can just click on this particular hyperlink, it will download a blob con a blob content, nothing but a PDF file from the FND blob table. So the basic thing we have to understand is how do we attach a document to the notification? Okay. Now here, if you observe, we have a notification, a notification is having a message, a message is having the document. So nothing but our business logic is implemented at the document at the message level. So we just need to identify what is done at the message level. So find out the notification, find out the process. So this is our process. In this process, I have a notification called XX attach notification. 
in the XX attached notification. So here, if you observe, I have three things here. One is related apps URL. So we know what is related apps URL, right? So as of now, you can ignore this one. Now in this one, I have a, this particular document, right? PO document. So just click on this one. This just observe the document type here. The data type. The data type is document and we have an option called attached content. We make sure that you need to click on this attached content. Now, the basic thing you have to understand is how are we attaching a PDF content to this particular message attribute? I mean to say this is a normal attribute and we are assigning this particular attribute at the message level. Whatever the value which you assign to this particular attribute that will get shown in the message. So here the major important part is in the PL SQL. Let us see this one. So here if you observe, why I'm, what I'm doing is I'm calling an API called WF engine dot set item attribute document in this one. So in the document ID. So here if you observe I'm calling an API call. I'm calling a custom API called XX WF attach in that I'm calling an a procedure called XX notif attach procedure. Okay, let me open that. This is my logic in this one if you observe for this particular blob logic i have a different set of attributes here document id document type and document in this one the basic thing we're trying what we're trying to do is we are getting the blob content from the fnd blob table fnd blob table and then we are creating a temporary we are we are converting that particular blob content from the file system to file system and we are assigning the particular value to the document variable here okay create temporary document and copy the content from the temp blob to the document attribute. So here this is how the value of the file is getting set to this particular document at runtime. Okay, so what we are doing is we're set we're calling a set item attribute document and here we have to mention item type item key. Okay. And our variable name attribute name is attachment underscore attribute. So here if you observe this is our attachment attribute. PO document. So here one more different one more difficulty for the developer is there is a difference between internal name and display name. Okay, here sometimes it sometimes the internal name is different and the display name could be different also. If you observe here, this is my internal name and this is my display name. So we can also have an option. Let us say if you would like to see all, if you would like to see all the internal names, just click on view, and you can just click on developer mode. So it will automatically mention all the internal names. Okay. So this is how we can attach. A blob content to a workflow notification. Okay. Hope you understand. Thanks.